Does prednisone raise your heart rate and blood pressure? Hi, I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. The short answer to that is yes. Prednisone does raise heart rate and blood pressure. I'm here to share with you how it does that and what you can do to help counteract it. So first of all, how does prednisone cause an increased heart rate and an increased blood pressure? Well, prednisone is mimicking your body's hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is normally released by your body in response to emergencies, whether that's you're being chased by a tiger or there's a war or famine. And so it's being released to help you cope with a disastrous situation where you probably need to run away. In order to run away, you need enough heart support to get, get you there, right? And so what your body does is it holds on to sodium because you don't need to pee in an emergency. You need to just get away. It's holding on to sodium by not peeing it out. And then it's peeing out potassium, the opposite of that. But high sodium is associated with high blood pressure and high potassium is associated with low blood pressure. They are opposites. When one is high, the other is low. When potassium is high, sodium is low. And your body tries to keep it in the right balance using your kidneys. But prednisone throws off that balance. And so you have too high of sodium and too low of potassium. That's making your heart beat harder and sometimes beat with a different rhythm. It might skip a beat. It might have an arrhythmia is what that's called. And the arrhythmias could be simple. They could be just normal things that everybody deals with, or they can be potentially fatal arrhythmias. Those are incredibly rare, but it is a possibility from taking prednisone. So the electrolyte imbalance is what is causing the potential problems with the signaling in your heart, getting the heart beating too hard and then the blood pressure too high. Another contributing factor to the blood pressure being high is when you're holding on to sodium and your potassium is low, you're retaining water. So the volume of fluid in your body is higher than it normally would. That can lead to swelling, swelling in your knees, your hands, your feet, and potentially your face, causing moon face. And when there's that much more volume, it, your heart has to pump harder in order to push the blood through the system. So that's another reason you have high blood pressure is because you have higher volume of blood. You might be wondering, is this a permanent issue? Because I took prednisone, am I always going to have a high heart rate or a high blood pressure forever? No, it's likely that as your dose of prednisone decreases, your blood pressure and heart rate will also go back to normal. And so it's probably not a permanent side effect. Although the damage that is done by having a high blood pressure doesn't just go away. If your high blood pressure causes kidney damage, eye damage, or causing your heart to beat too hard can cause damage. That damage doesn't go away, but the blood pressure itself should go back to normal. So that's the good news. So if you're having heart palpitations, heart rhythm changes, a tremor, or high blood pressure, what can you do? First thing you should do is tell your doctor. It may be nothing, and for most people, it probably is nothing to worry about, but it could be a sign of some heart problem. So definitely be in close communication with your doctor while you're taking prednisone. Check your blood pressure regularly measure your heart rate regularly. You can do it right here on your pulse, right, or right here to check your pulse. If it's getting too high or too low, let your doctor know. If you're feeling really faint, you're having sudden chest pain, go to the emergency room. You might be having a heart attack. Things that can help get your heart rate and blood pressure back to normal include lifestyle modifications. Because the salt is going high and the potassium is going low, it makes a lot of sense to keep your intake of sodium to the minimum and improve your intake of potassium. 
Eat potassium rich foods. Do meditation and yoga and deep breathing. Things that help calm your system down. That helps to keep a lower blood pressure. Deep breathing actually helps to counteract a fast heart rate on its own. So if you practice taking slow, deep breaths, that can slow a fast heart rate to a certain extent. Cutting back on caffeine, quitting smoking, and staying hydrated can also help support your blood pressure and heart rate. Finally, I might have said a lot of things that were scary for you, but it's important that you do not suddenly stop taking prednisone. That's called going cold turkey. That can in and of itself be fatal. So don't just suddenly stop taking it because of what you've heard in this video. Instead, it's very important to gradually taper off prednisone. That if you were on 60 milligrams, you don't suddenly go to zero. You might go to 50 and then 40 and then 30 and then 20 and then 10 and then five and then off. You want to take it slow and steady. If you're suddenly having incredibly low blood pressure, incredibly low heart rate, you might be in withdrawal. You might have gone too fast. So it's important to keep it in the normal range, to not have it too high and to not have your blood pressure and heart rate too low. You want to keep it within the normal range. And so be sure to taper slowly under the direction of your doctor. If you have any questions about prednisone side effects, I invite you to put them below. And then if you would like help counteracting these side effects and others, I created a prednisone checklist. It includes the top side effects of prednisone and what you can do about it. Download it below. Signing off is Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.